So Isaac could uh, have an impact here, not as much as Louisiana, but... Wind, a little bit of a little breezy bit of wind. wind. That's going to be about it. Yeah, unless he veers way to the far left side of the cone and we get a shower. But even in that case, we're on the dry side. You know, the west side of that storm right. is the dry side. Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, if it follows the center line that I'm going to show you in a minute, New Orleans is on the very dirty side of that storm, possibly as a Category 2. A hurricane reconnaissance aircraft has been in that storm this afternoon and found that it is strengthening. The pressures are lowering. The wind speeds are higher. Now a 70 mile per hour uh, storm, uh, four miles per hour more, and it's Hurricane Isaac. It's moving to the northwest at 12 miles per hour, and it really looks like it's making a, a beeline for New Orleans. Uh, our computer model takes it right into the New Orleans area and projects that they will see a lot of rain. The National Hurricane Center forecast for the combined storm surge and high tide is that water depths could be six to 12 feet deep inland Louisiana toward New Orleans into southern sections of Mississippi as this storm comes in by Wednesday morning, which this is so strange. Not only is it the same day as Katrina came in to the day, at the same time of day, almost to the hour, it is possible this storm could move in exactly seven years later uh, than Katrina. Up to 18 inches of rainfall forecast. The storm is slowing down and it's forecast to slow down more as it gets into southeast Louisiana. In addition, sustained 100 mile per hour winds if the hurricane center is right and it's a category two as it makes landfall. That, of course, would put wind gusts up to major hurricane level. 10 miles per hour or more. Here's the National Hurricane Center forecast path, that cone, and it's narrowed now. We know where this thing is going. It's Louisiana, maybe Mississippi, but look at there, that's a Category 2 hurricane just southwest of downtown New Orleans by early Wednesday morning. It slows down. It continues to track into eastern Louisiana as a tropical storm, but by Thursday afternoon, in that cone is Shreveport. What's going on in Shreveport Thursday night, or what may not be going on now, is a Texas A&M football game a Thursday evening. Then the storm continues to weaken as it turns to the northeast over uh, Illinois. Again, uh, impacts on our area going to be nothing but a little bit of wind off to the east, and that's just 10 to 20 mile per hour wind. So we're not concerned about it. We are concerned about our friends, though, down in Louisiana, in particular New Orleans, as this could be a, a real serious deal. Back here at home, we're seeing some showers actually today, but they're not a associated with Isaac. There's a very weak front that's pushed into the area, generating some isolated rain showers uh, in our region right now. In fact, let's take a look at them on the storm profiler radar. A uh, couple there, boy, that's not, that's not amounting to much. You're getting a sprinkle west of Taylor. Uh, up there uh, southeast of Gerald around Granger Lake, you're getting a few sprinkles too. Not even a lightning strike. Back out to the uh, west in the hill country, a couple of isolated rain showers here. And I mean isolated. I mean tiny and not amounting to very much at all. Let's take a look. Uh, that's, that's pretty good, decent little cell there southeast of a junction, but that's a little bit out of our viewing area. Let's take a look now uh, outside in Austin skies. Partly cloudy over downtown. Uh, the current temperature in the city is 95 degrees. It's a hot one. Around the area, though, 89 in Burnett, 79 in Lone Passes. So even though you're not getting much rain, you're getting a little bit of relief from the heat with those showers nearby. Austin's 95 and the airport's 94 under partly cloudy skies. There is no wind out there. Sunsets before 8 o'clock tonight, 758. Mold count today over 1,000. That's high, fall elm medium, and ragweed low. Let's run through some temperatures. There are your current readings around Texas, 96 up in Dallas. Our lows tonight, mid-70s, low to mid-70s. Our highs tomorrow, at least mid 90s in Austin overnight tonight. Partly cloudy and 75. Showers end as soon as the sun goes down. 97 degrees tomorrow afternoon. A mix of clouds and sun. Could we see a shower again tomorrow with this front in the area? You bet. Just a 20% chance. But by Wednesday and Thursday, because we're on the outskirts of that hurricane, I think our rain chances actually go away and the temperature actually gets a little hotter because of it. Into the upper 90s, we might even hit 100 degrees or more by Thursday and into Friday this week as that hurricane moves north.